The second major severe weather outbreak in the past three days is set to uh, impact the lower 48 over the next 24 hours. We have all the correct ingredients in place as we see the second system that uh, was pushing through the Pacific Northwest just yesterday is now going to be uh, forcing into the lower Midwest over the course of the next 12 to 24 hours. It does so. We're going to be seeing a cold front pushing ahead of that. And as well as that, on the backside, we've got a strong jet stream dipping down into the southern plains. Very strong, low-level jet stream uh, expected to blow at 60 mile an hour. What that will do is it's going to help to enhance turning and twisting of winds down near lower levels and what that'll do is as well it's going to force all that warm very spring-like humidity northwards from the gulf of mexico expect near near or record breaking temperatures anywhere from louisiana uh, all the way across to georgia this warm air fuel is going to cause a lot of problems as the cold air in the upper levels Push out of the northwest, so strong northwesterly winds in the upper levels, strong south to southeasterly winds in the low levels, and of course you've got that rip roaring low level jet stream that will tear across this very contrast in air mass. And of course, we're watching this area here uh, for severe thunderstorms to start firing up by late morning into the afternoon and evening hours. Here off the weather channel, you've got this risk area here. The the blue the red colours indicates the area of highest risk for severe weather. The dark reds show where that severe weather is expected during the overnight hours. A significant tornado outbreak is expected folks. The conditions are ripe for it and I certainly encourage you to check uh, sift out your NOAA radio, check out the internet, TV my blog, AccuWeather, the Weather Channel, all these major media outlets to keep you checking back, keep focused and keep informed of the impending severe weather over the course of tomorrow. Keep checking back. I'll keep you up to date, folks. Bye-bye.